What's up, you guys? It's Amira Riley, and I am here to talk to you about what's been going on in my life. Um, sorry, I'm just wasting these people. I'm on my lunch break right now, and uh, okay. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you about what's been going on in my life and what's to come next. So, I have been in the military for about three years now. It's April 14th, June 11th, 2022. I mean, June 11th, yeah, June 11th, 2022 will make it three years exactly that I've been in the military. Um, sorry, I'm hungry. So I decided that I wanted to take a step back away from social media for a little bit because before I got pregnant and engaged, I was getting thousands of likes and stuff like, my old videos and pictures had like 7,000 likes and 8,000 views and now I'm getting like 76 likes a post. I lost 7,000 followers on Instagram. It's just been going downhill. It's very like unmotivating and stuff. And it just really makes me want to give up. But you know what? This is a message to myself so I can like look back on, at this video and be like, remember when you said this? I really wanted to give up because it's just, it's so hard. I've been doing this, making videos and stuff since I was like in high school, so for about seven years now. And it just sucks to see people who are, tal I can't say talentless because that would be mean, but people who just don't do anything, don't try in their videos and they get like millions of views, thousands of likes and thousands of shares, or they get like, you know, verified and stuff. And I'm just like, I've been doing this for seven years. Like, when is my time gonna come? I'm really trying hard. I'm putting effort in, you know, I'm using effects. I'm doing everything. I'm following trends. Like, I just, I don't get it. And it caused me to be so wrapped up in my head. Like, I need these lights. I need these views. And that, you know, it's just, that's what I've been focusing on lately. And it's hard because, um, I'm, I shouldn't be really focusing on it, but it's something that I want to make a living. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a TikToker and Instagram. Like, I want those to be my sources of income because it's what I like to do. But I just got too wrapped up in it and I'm just so invested in it and it's really affecting my mental, you know, because I'm always worried about the likes and the views and the comments that I'm no longer getting. It sucks. I have 34,000 followers on TikTok. I get 74 likes. No, they're not bought, but they just, they'll watch it. Like I'll have the, the views. They're not liking, they're not commenting. Like, I don't, I don't know. YouTube, I'm just not really consistent with YouTube, but I guess this is about to be my next try. TikTok and Instagram, I mean, Instagram and Facebook, it's like, I don't, it's like everyone, like I'm just disappearing from earth. It's just weird. Like I'm a ghost, I'm fading away. I'm gonna focus on my hair company, making hair videos. I have to rebrand myself. You know, I'm just, either I'm just not that funny or, you know, because I am engaged and have a baby, you know, some of my fan base were males and they just left. I'm gonna be talking more about military, my hair and my family, my traveling and stuff. I guess I can't do the things that I used to do anymore. So this is what's been going on in my life. I have returned back to work. My first day was cool. You know, um, before I left work and was pregnant and stuff, it was just a really weird atmosphere, you know, negative energy, negative people. But now those entities are gone, very clean and productive atmosphere able to work and stuff i'm always on break uh, i love my job i hated it at first because of who i was working with but i love my job it's very quiet very clean nobody's really there you know everyone's deployed or pcs or retired so now that i come back it's a couple new faces but still kind of empty my first day was cool but The only thing that bothers me is the fact that I still work the same job I've been working since I got in the Air Force. And you're supposed to rotate because I'm material management, so we're constantly rotating our jobs. And I've been there for three years. Other people have gotten to deploy PCS or even change their, you know, change their jobs and stuff. Like I wanted to go to a DMS or a parts store. Other people have gotten to go three places and I'm still in the same place, you know, so. I don't know, I'm not complaining anymore because I am planning to Palace Chase. Um, I miss my daughter, she's in daycare right now, but I just, I miss her. I feel bad for putting her there. She's like, who's all these people around me? 
But then again, I think on the bright side, because I don't want to be a negative person, she didn't run another baby. She's socializing. She's having fun. So, my life has definitely changed for the better, I'm going to say. It's not chaotic. It's not dramatic. I love it. Now, me and my spouse, soon to be spouse, we have things to work on. Oh, flies. And that's us working on getting our house and our finances. And that's what I love about him because... We're working on life, you know? We're good, we're good, but we're working on life and we just, we don't wanna be middle class anymore. So we're gonna work on my finances and becoming rich and stuff. And so much has changed, man. Thank you for tapping in on what's going on with me. I took a year hiatus off of work and kind of like Instagram and TikTok and stuff because I had a really horrible pregnancy. Now I'm back, work is great, you know, but I am tired of working the same job taking a break from social media because it's definitely taking a toll on me. It has me worried about who's liking my videos, who's commenting, when are they gonna like more. It just has me obsessed and I don't wanna be obsessed. I do want it to be my source of income and my job because I love making videos, but it has me to a point where I'm just, I don't know. Thank you for listening to me rant.